Good morning from Naltar Valley. Uh, today we moved to Hunza after breakfast. Uh, it's uh, not even seven yet. Uh, we, were, we woke up earlier today uh, and uh, we will be having that uh, almost 30 minutes Jeep ride uh, to normal village where we had parked our car yesterday. And then uh, from there we will move on towards Hunza side. Before we move forward, we uh, are staying in Mehman Resort as I told you guys earlier. I will definitely love to show you uh, that when we get out of the room and uh, walk a few steps to the back side of the hotel, what an amazing view you will get. So let's go and see that. So we have arrived uh, normal where we had parked our car and the journey from Naltar to normal was not that easy. Uh, okay, I'm not a big YouTuber and I don't need views with these kinds of things. Uh, but we seriously had uh, some rocks falling right in front of our Jeep. Uh, and I definitely had no guts to take out my phone and start recording that thing. Because when something like this happens, uh, your heartbeat gets out of control and the next thing that's, that comes to your mind is that the next few rocks will fall directly on your jeep. Uh, so it was uh, like a shocking kind of 15-20 seconds. Uh, our driver tried to reverse the car but it was not happening because of a lot of rocks under the jeep already. Uh, but we were he fortunate enough, to thanks to Allah, that uh, uh, there were no more rocks for our jeep and we stayed there for like 10-15 seconds and as soon as the uh, mud cleared uh, that was caused by those falling rocks, uh, our driver quickly drove through that area. And let me tell you, this is not a good experience. This is like you just... Uh, cheated or dodged death there. This that kind of feeling. Very important part of any journey to refuel your car and uh, just an advice uh, whenever you are traveling in the north of Pakistan uh, although comparatively like comparing it with uh, uh, probably four or five years back there are at least three four times more fuel stations now uh, on this route uh, but still uh, it is always uh, recommended that whenever you find a fuel station and your uh, fuel gauge is even anywhere near halfway mark just get it refueled because in the north uh, there are always chances of landslides and uh, like in these days there are some protests going on around Hunza region and Gilgit uh, so there is a big chance that uh, more fuel cannot reach the region for some days and uh, if you are short definitely your whole trip will be messed up and uh, it might even be difficult to get back to your hometown. So, uh, right now we are at the Rakaposhi viewpoint on our way to Hunza and just to add to your knowledge uh, this is the original one and the oldest viewpoint here because uh, in last two three years uh, now when you are coming this way, there are a couple of couple other viewpoints as well that uh, some people have uh, uh, you know made restaurants there and they are also getting good business because they are literally viewpoints as well. Uh, but this is the more famous one and this is where you get the best view of this peak as well. Okay, so after Rakaposhi viewpoint, now we are heading to Hunza. 
एंड द मेन हुजा रूट इज क्लोज ड्यू टू अ ब्रिज दैट को लैप्स नियर हसनाबाद आई थिंक अ कपल ऑफ मंथ्स बैक इट वॉज अ बिग ब्रिज एंड लाइक दे वॉज डेफिनेटली नो अल्टरनेट टू दैट ब्रिज सो वी आर टेकिंग दिस रूट फ्रॉम मिनाफिन साइड द नगर वैली साइड वी विल बी क्रॉसिंग पिस्तन दैन मिनाफिन Uh, then we will be heading to i think sumayyar uh, all this on the nagar side and then we, we will cross the river again uh, towards hunza side uh, but this route is uh, I, i won't call it off roading it's uh, like uh, uh, half metal kind of road and pretty good so far and uh, we took advice from local people uh, as soon as we left the main krakram highway and uh, all of them suggested that our car our honda city can easily go past this route so we also had an option that we could park it somewhere in nagar and uh, take a 4x4 four four or something like that to cover the honda region but everyone suggested that even with five people all the luggage we can still do it on this car to this video uh, today was the most difficult drive most challenging drive of my life uh, on a honda city i will show you the roads uh, you can see these cars going down i have come from this side now we will be taking uh, the main krakram highway up till murtadabad and uh, from there we will be going to aliabad and we will cross ganesh pool uh, ganesh bridge and enter karima bath dam so uh, this was actually this route was definitely not in our plans we had to take this route because uh, at nagpurabad uh, there is some protest going on uh, about some uh, you know some issues in hunda going on currently and they are not letting in any cars from the main kkh so we had to take this route and uh, uh, people Uh, advised us that you can easily do it on your city but it was not easy it was definitely not easy uh, and now we are just making sure that our car and its tires specifically take some good rest before we move we are at hunza valley now uh, karimabad to be exact and baltit fort to be even more specific uh, we just arrived uh, like 30 40 minutes back Uh, checked into our rooms at Old Hunza Inn, and uh, now we are at Baltit uh, Fort. Uh, I actually uh, took a local guide with me, uh, who is basically Lakat Bhai's nephew, who is basically the owner of Old Hunza Inn. Uh, because I was super tired, and this Baltit Fort uh, needs at least 800 to meters to one kilometer of uh, walking all the way up. Uh, and i didn't want to do it and also the local can definitely guide better than me so that's the story for now i am resting right next to my car uh i used the toilet i got to be fresh washed my face uh, because it was really dusty on the way we had to uh, turn off our air conditioner at a lot of times because of the steep slopes uh, going up upwards <coughs> So uh, the guests are up at Balti Fort now and I am still enjoying a pretty decent view from here. We are at Balti Fort and uh, I am not interested again. Uh, I have seen it several times before and for my guests I already have busted by with me I already told you about him. and uh, there is also uh, one guide uh, who's uh, like working here at Altit Fort so he knows the history and everything much better than the, than us so i can definitely count on both of them and i am here at the khabasi or khabasi cafe i will have water here then i will have some tea or coffee and uh, wait for the guests to come back
at the last point of our today's itinerary and although we were quite late because of that off-road track from the up inside uh, but still uh, we have managed to cover all three points that we had planned to cover today uh, the two ports and now we are at Eagle Nest view point and uh, just behind me uh, right. you can see uh, there, there. that's the Eagle Nest view point and uh, Yes, the Russians have gone up uh, with Basipai and I am here at the uh, Hard Rock Pizza Sky Cafe uh, because uh, again no mood of going up and uh, it's quite a view from here also you can see from here uh, I almost got the same view as I would have got on top of the Eagle Nest viewpoint and I have been there before so I have that experience although this Sunset from uh, the Eagle viewpoint is uh, something just out of this world. It's magical, it's uh, mesmerizing, and I'm a little short of vocabulary right here, so let's just keep it at that. So everyone is back from the Eagle Nest viewpoint. They are a bit tired and now it's time for some coffee with a view. Uh, view you have already seen and the coffee is sponsored by Nest Cafe Hard Rock Hunza Sky Cafe uh, which is the world highest sky cafe and it's uh, located on the rooftop of uh, Hard Rock Hunza Hotel which is a 5 star 